I like music, so I like speakers. So what's inside the speakers that I feature in my lounge music videos? What's inside them? Well, I decided to make, try making a set of speakers based on a full range speaker with, with a piezo unit in it. And of course I tried a little t prototype and I picked out a nice pair of full range speakers, a bit like that, from ones that I got from the dump and decided to use them to start making my speakers. So we start with them. There's the full range speaker. The wizard cone has been removed because the wizard cone makes the side of the drum sound sounds clocky instead of docky. It's, uh, but with these, it sounds love. They sound incredible. It sounds so much better than with a wizard cone. That's the type of speaker it is. It's a sharp one. Four inch. Now we have the woofer. And it's an LG woofer from the same stereo that the lounge music was played. And inside here we have the, the super tweeter. And it's held on by a little spring I made pulling onto a piece of nylon thread which you can just see going through the hole which I drilled in the speaker pulling this back at a certain pressure keeping it on and that's what the piezo tweeters look like that's what the actual piezo unit looks like you can get it out of the old tweeters from speakers or this is from a little beeper I bought for three dollars and has one of those Whoops, one of those inside it. <clears throat> now, this chamber is a separate chamber. Look, see this. It's its own little speaker box in itself. And at the bottom, there is a base port. If you can't quite show you, I can show you on this one. The base port, the base mid range, and the base port for the lower base. Cool. Now we go to uh, the crossover, but before we go to there, we just have a look inside the base chamber, and there's a piece of poly pipe. There's one piece of poly pipe sliding in inside the other. That is essential to do that if you're making your own speakers, because you can make the bass sound so much better by doing that. It's just not funny. It's just unbelievable how much better you can make the bass sound, no matter how you want it. Beautiful. Now we go to the crossover. First we have the bass, we have the thump choke, and the boom choke. And the boom choke is held back by a resistor, and you can choose what resistor you like to make it sound just how you want from boom to thump ratio. Beautiful. And they're in parallel. But this little baby here, which does, does the controlling, the resistor, is in series with this one. And whether it's chokes or capacitors or what, it's always the same. Now, you have the med range, which controls this speaker, of course, just the, the full range speaker itself, not the, not the piezo unit. We have a, a resistor just there, which holds back everything. In this case, you've got a fairly big one because it's really chuffy, the type of speakers. You can't take any notice of what the value of that is if you put another speaker in there or another drive unit. It'd be completely different. It'd be 18 ohms instead of 50 or it might be 64 ohms instead of 30 or something. It depends on the speaker. They're all different. And that's what's good about these. You can change it. And there, so you've got a straight through sound, really low, uh, a fairly high resistance as a base of sound that doesn't sort of um, have any gaps in it. There's no gaps, so you get a good, nice, fluent sound. Then you add to that bass sound, not bass, B-A-S-S-E, -S -S -E, I'm talking about. And you add to that, you add a bit of tiz to it with a, with a capacitor, and it comes straight through that, 
it might be held back a little bit by a small amount but not much just to just to tweak it get the right amount of tiz and so you really tiz it up and then you've got your warming joke now what the warming joke does it warms the sound up it lets a bit of more bass med range in it doesn't let treble in at all or med range but lower med range in only and so you get a warm sound in the voice but it'll sound boxed in if it's too warm and if it's not warm enough it'll sound airy but then it'll be also nasal and so you control it with this by letting just the right amount of boom in the voice you know beautiful and it's done by the by of course the resistor which holds that back you know and it's in parallel with the other um, main resistor which all the whole lot goes through sort of thing that every little bit of it and you got this added to it and that added to it and you get the sound just how you want it beautiful now you have also have the piezo unit and they held back a little bit because they do have a lot of output on the really top end and they do sound scratchy for that reason but also i put a little choke on it to also make it roll off just the right amount so it sounds more like a, a coil t a tweeter and you don't get that scratchy sound because it doesn't go high up so so ridiculously staticky high sort of thing and you get a shings a shing sound s-h-i-n-g shing sound instead of a staticky sound oh it's, it, it makes all the difference all it is is you just got to roll off the right, the right amount you know don't roll off too much otherwise it's muffly but you get that balance and that's what it's all about you know beautiful I get 21 wines on that we could probably experiment with a few more a few less I'm not sure but I'm going to experiment with a few more and a few less you know? yeah, but so that's about it that's what's inside my speakers there we go we're going to get a bit of a bit of a close-up view of that can we yeah we can thank you YouTube